You're asking the AI, or let's say in the software or the tool in this case, to solve a solution using one of the SUVAD equations and to show that the time taken is approximately 0 0.6 seconds. So this is really going to test the AI to use a certain equation where it has to think to use the values or the correct equation in this case that involves the distance and how to correctly solve this. So we're going to send this and see how fast this thing responds. Oh wow, it, it just responds pretty quick. So it's saying, to solve this problem, we can use the equation for vertical motion under constant acceleration. So it's mentioning s is equal to ut plus half a t squared. The acceleration in this case is the acceleration due to gravity, which is approximately 9.8 meters per second squared, going downwards. We can assume that the vertical velocity of the ball is zero when it passes the top of the net. Since we know the distance traveled, the final velocity and the acceleration, we can use the equation to solve for t. Now it's uh, just rerunning, so it's given s is equal to half g t squared, and we know that s is equivalent to 1.08 minus 2.76, which is equivalent to minus 1.68 meters. Okay, pretty good actually. The time is the square root of 2s divided by g, where g is equivalent to 9.8 meters per second, so it's doing a pretty good job. Okay, we can see that the time shown here is equivalent to the square root of negative. Okay, so the thing is, they can't take a square root of a negative number in this case. So let's say, let, let me just test this. If we use our calculator and do a square root of negative 0 0.342, that's gonna give a math error. So the software, I think the tool has to understand that taking a square root of a negative number decimal in this case is gonna be undefined. Now it's saying that lastly, it's saying that this Approximate answer tells us that the time taken for the ball to fall from the top of the net to the point 1.08 meters above the ground is 0 0.6 seconds. Since the ball is served horizontally, the horizontal distance and the time taken for the ball to reach the net is approximately the same. Okay, as you can see that this is only an approximation because air resistance is not negligible and depend on how fast the ball is traveling, so it can increase the time taken for the ball to reach the net. So after looking at this response and this answer, it's pretty impressive what the AI can do and how it actually solved it and got some parts of it right. So it's not fully correct though. So now we're going to get to the part where I'm going to show you how I solved this question. So what I've done is I've listed down, uh, by the way, look to the right. So in the um, solution which I've made, uh, S is equal to half G T square. So that's one of the formulas we l just list down just to see whether it matches this question. Then we calculate S. S just represents the distance. So we're just measuring the, um, we're just finding out the distance. So what I've done is I've done 2.76 meters minus 1.08 meters, which gives you an equivalency of 1.68 meters. Now if you look to the left hand side, the AI, uh, ChatGPT, has done a pretty good job. It, they have given the value 1.68 meters. However, this is given as a negative value. Since it's negative, I think that's a reason why the ChatGPT should not take, let's say, the distance in terms of negative numbers. Distance is always positive, right? So it really depends on the direction. Then I've written down the one of the SUVAD equations, which is S equivalent to UT plus half AT square. Now you got to give it to this that it's got the the formula right for one of the SUVAD equations mentioned here. So we would give a point to that as well. So it's done a good job analyzing that. And um, overall, if you look, initial velocity is zero, and you do half of 9.81 times t square, and it's listed down the gravitational field strength, which is 9.8. Um, it's pretty impressive as well. And we are taking, we're rearranging the equation on the, on the right hand side. We're making t the subject of the formula since we have to show that the time is approximately 0 0.6 seconds. So we do a square root of 1.68 times 2. So 1.68 times 2, that's correctly 3.36. And the software, I mean, the tool has got it right. It's 3.36 divided by 9.81 which has given us an answer of roughly about 0 0.585 seconds. So it has not shown 0 0.585 seconds though, but that's okay. So it's given us a final answer of 0 0.6. So 
by comparing both these responses of both the AIs and the, the working that I've done here, the AI has done a really good job in actually answering this question. But not all of the parts are right, except like some, for instance, let's say the distance here, negative and uh, square root of a negative number. But overall, I feel that ChatGPT has done a really good job actually in answering this question based on based on information that it has known previously. So it's pretty impressive the way it's responded quickly. And uh, yeah, should you use this for physics? Um, that's a question. Um, you guys can use this for physics as a reference point, but do have other references as well, just in case to confirm what ChatGPT's answers are. But overall, uh, ChatGPT has done a really good job in answering this question. So let's just finish the video by saying just thanks. All right.